Jeff Blank been joined here today by Blake Potterbaum and Luke Hicks from the Kemper Knights. They pick up a 4-3 win over at Carroll in the uh, championship game of the uh, Kemper Classic. We'll start off with uh, Blake over here to my left. Started on the hill today. How did you feel early on? Uh, I felt really good starting out. Towards the end, it started to slow down a little bit, but I just had confidence in my team that they'd back me up, and I just did my thing. What was the game plan against their hitters early on? How were you trying to work them? Really keep the ball low the outside. They can really hit the ball well, so just respect them and make sure you don't leave the pitch up. Were you, did you feel like you had control early on, and what kind of pitches were you using? Yeah, for the first first couple innings, I felt really good with my fastball. I used that most of the game. Kind of sat on the curveball a little bit, but didn't use it as much as I thought I'd need to. Randy came out and visited you the one inning. Uh, you got in a little bit of trouble. What did he talk to you about? And you kind of got out of trouble at that point. How did that make you feel? It helped me feel a lot better. It gave me some confidence just to go up and throw the ball. And so talk about this today. What's this win mean for you? You pick up the win on the hill. You, you beat your crosstown rivals. That's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, it feels really good. We've been struggling a lot lately, and it feels good to get a couple here today. Talk about how you felt at the plate today. Did you feel like you were seeing their pitchers pretty well? Uh, not as well as I'd like to, but, you know, it is just what it is. And, you know, had a good hit that really boosted some confidence. You guys rolled over Greene County earlier today. Kind of talk about that one. Picked up a 13-1 victory in five innings there. What was the difference for you guys in that game, did you think? I feel like we really hit well as a team. We all kind of piled on. Hitting's contagious is what our coaches tell us all the time. So as soon as one guy started it all, just kind of snowballed from there. So do you believe your coaches now that hitting's oh, kind of contagious? Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> Just as soon as one guy got a hit, I feel like everyone just kind of followed in the suit. Talk about your defense behind you today. I know you had some they guys. Played. We'll talk to Luke here in a minute. Made some really good plays yeah, for you. they definitely played really well. Kyle Photo had, had some really good plays, and even the one he tried to make was absolutely awesome. I tell you what, great job out here today. Appreciate you joining yeah, thank us. Thank you. You bet. Let's move over now to Luke Hicks. Luke, a good day for you at the plate today. How would you feel out there? Uh, I was coming in with a lot of confidence because against Denison last week, a couple weeks ago, had a couple of big hits. My coaches have been working with me a lot, helping me to make adjustments at the plate, and then they moved me up in the lineup, so that gave me some more confidence to work with. So that, that kind of helped me out. What kind of things were you working on the last week or so that, that really started to boost that confidence? Keeping my hands in and tight and getting quick to the ball, because I used to have a really long swing, so coaches like Coach Reese Snyder helped me a lot with that. Okay, you're able to use that today pretty effectively, yep. you think, in both games? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about what you saw from the two pitchers from the Carroll today. Uh, did you feel like you were picking up the ball pretty well, and how were they trying to pitch you? They were throwing really well. I'm, I think I just saw the ball out of their hands pretty early today, so that helped because yesterday in practice our coach was throwing us live, and it was kind of hard to see the ball inside because it was raining. So today seeing it on a not white background like inside helps see the ball in the spin a lot better. Were they trying to throw you inside or were they kind of working you around and kind of moving the ball around on they you were today? moving around a little bit more inside than a lot because I've been pushing the ball more than pulling. So they're trying to get me to pull the ball and see if I can take it. You guys had that 4-3 lead going into the top of the seventh inning. You knew you had to kind of hold them there even though you'd have that chance to bat in the bottom of the seventh that they tied it up. Yep. What was the thought process for you guys going in it, especially when Bach got on first base to start off the top of the seventh? We were just hoping to make plays in the field when we first went out there, maybe not even going to the bottom of the seventh. And when Bach got on, it got a little scary there for a second, but our pitcher came through and made a great double play. So, you know, Take us through what you it. saw on that. That was a nice play by Will and kind of helped you guys out yeah, a lot. Was, Great, it was huge. We were all excited. We didn't know what to do about it. it was... So going 2-0, and winning the Kemper Classic this year, what's that mean for you guys this year? Uh, that's a big confidence booster coming off last week, off a sixth losing streak. So that's big confidence going in against St. Albert's on Monday. So we'll be coming in pretty hot, I think. Well, I tell you what, appreciate you joining us here today. Congratulations right. on thank a good you. day and a good win. Yep, thank you.